one of them. He's on foot. Heading east toward... Power's out. testing phase of your application. Hey Jared, take a look at this. Well, that's never happened before. Twenty-five years ago, 
we were faced with the unimaginable. We were left with nothing. But from the darkness came a spark. And from that spark grew the future. I'm Paul Bateson, CEO and co-founder of Vopo Technologies. As we approach this upcoming anniversary, let us take time to reflect on how far we have come since those darkest of times. Here at Vopo Technologies, we are honoring the strength and resilience of Sector 6 by bringing power, comfort, and security to our citizens. Our journey has been one of sacrifice and perseverance. But with some old tools and some new ideas, Vopo Technologies is rebuilding our future today. 25 years ago, we were faced... Simon, did you lose anything in the reset? I was pretty young. Um, I mostly... I mostly just remember the gadgets. Well, I was there. It proved one thing. Technology maintains stability. It's the only thing that can. What Vopo does, Simon, is keep things constant. There are individuals who would like to undermine that stability, and that's where you come in. It's called quality control. We'll be organizing a candlelight vigil for the anniversary of the reset. Uh, there's a sign-up sheet for volunteers, and uh, we could always use uh, more candles. And let's not forget those citizens <clears throat> who passed this week. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a moment of silence for those loved ones. Lisa Hudson, Frank Dobbins. Eric Ross, Janetta Hunter, Barney Chase. Move all of the medals from here to there, and I'll be put you. in 8, 10, 12 hours. I'm sitting in that cab. Maybe hey, you just have a hard time. Mrs. Ross? Sorry about Eric. He was a real talented kid. Radiation in the outer zone areas remain at harmful levels. Outer zone citizens are urged to remain indoors and limit outdoor exposure to only one hour a day. The current temperature in the western block of C6 is 14 degrees Celsius. Pop. Pop, wake up. Pop, wake up. What time is it? We got work in half an hour. Oh, let me fix you some breakfast. Tomorrow.
Bye. Hey, how much can I get for all this Tetris? Hey! Ed! Yeah? He wants to sell his Tetris. I'll give you 20 bit. If it works. Yeah, whatever, man. You are at Eric's service. What's your name? I'm Simon. Pretty rare stuff. A lot for that stuff. Where'd you find it? Why? So your boss can cut me out? <laughs> Good. You know, if you ever need any help around here, real help, this is kind of my thing. Yeah, sorry. What did you say your name was? Remember when I took you camping? We're lucky. All those kids that were born after the reset, they will never see stars.
One second, I'm in the bathroom. We had some incidents the past few nights in the complex and surrounding area. Have you seen or heard anything? No. I just play games on my computer all night. I'm a night person myself. I asked because some of the neighbors reported seeing someone. It was past curfew, and this person was trying to break in to this apartment. Like I said, I just play computer games all night. If you want, you can talk to the city, and they can check the log on my raker. Okay. Thanks. Keep an eye out for anything. Okay. Hey, did you hear anybody out here the last couple nights? This came for you, but you were gone. She just has a fever. Let's see if we can find her something. Does anybody else know about this? Simon, right? You remember me? I'm Max. This came with a drive, <clears throat> and I can't get into it, and I was thinking that maybe you could. Maybe. What's the Tetris business doing? I'm leaving it. Really? Where are you going? Lopo. Wow. Working for the bad guys, huh? Sorry, it's not the Ritz Carlton. That. It's like a fancy place for rich people. 
little sandwiches. Got a problem with success? No. Just people. I like to stay in a place like that. You would have fit in back then. Oh, you know, you look just like the people from the old magazines. Yeah? How do they look? Like they drink milk. I've had milk. You haven't? Real milk costs a thousand bit. Well, I guess that's a good reason to be successful. You can get to try things other people don't. It's all Tetris? All of it. How did you do that? I don't know what to tell you, man. It's Eric. Where is this? It's the desert just past the outer zone. Do you know other people who have been out there? No. You hear stories of people going out there and they don't come back, that kind of thing. I didn't think he had it in him. What do you think your name is on that drive? Maybe he didn't think you could break it. Looking in the wrong place. There. Look at that.
get out. What? Get the fuck out of my apartment! Tuesday, and I'm going to need someone to go into the archival file system and take a look at the kernel module because after it's been running for a little while, it stops firing DCNs. You like it or not, I'm part of this. And I'm useful. If you get tired, just let me know. I can take over whenever. I think I'll be all right. You see that, right? What? That black dot. time.
Identification, please. You two are pretty far out here. Yeah, my grandmother lives out here. You know, she didn't want to relocate to City Six, so it's all for a visit. Here to curfew and stay away from the automobiles. Absolutely. Hello, ma'am. How you doing this morning? Protection Mandate 512 states that all inhabitants of the outer zone perimeter are flag citizens and subject to Sector 6 security protocols. We're at a severe threat level, and just with the Royal Black House, we just need to make a couple repairs. We'll uh, try not to take too much of your time. I've not read about places like this.
Take it easy, okay? Deep breath. Mercy Medical. Hello. Our friend Steven is missing, um, and we, we found the stuff at his house, and we were wondering if you know anything. Yeah, um, I called looking for my sister, Abby. She's Steven's girlfriend. The two of them are always together. Have you seen her? No. What? I had a patient yesterday who kept going on about the desert. Wait, I know where this is. How do you know about this place, Grace? My sister. She and Steven met there for a lights out party. What's that? It's a reset anniversary party. 
Do you go to those, Grace? No. I live two blocks away. Is that the girl from your apartment? Yeah, the one from the video. What was she talking about? I don't know, junkie girl. She know all about it. What the fuck are you talking about? So, what's the deal? With what? You two seem like an unlikely pair. How did you meet? Through mutual friends. Steven? No. His name was Eric. Eric, that's a good name. He's my best friend. <clears throat> but he got, um, uh, he got locked up for computer fraud. Um, started hanging out with a different crowd. I didn't really see him much after that. <laughs> I met Eric when I was 17 at a youth reform center. 
before I met him, I was just stealing computer parts, but he showed me what you could do with them. He seems like a good friend. When did you see him last? We were doing a night run. Security guard showed up. I got away. He didn't. He's dead, in case you're wondering. Do you want to listen to some music? Max has music. Okay, great. Let's hear it. I don't listen to music. Yes, you do. I've seen you with a tape player. The thing about Max um, is he wants everybody to think he's, you know, a tough guy. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> you don't know what I think of. <clears throat> okay. Whatever. That's my mom. She got 25 years up at ECM for drug trafficking. When the power went out and everything went dark, everyone started freaking out, you know? Nobody's going to work. All the prison guards, they got families, you know, so they just left. I don't really, I don't, I don't like to think about how they lasted as long as they did, but... Eventually, everyone died. Not knowing why they were abandoned. your story. What do you mean? I don't know. I'm not from around here.
something. Stephen's dead. Look so happy with yourself. Didn't do anything. Just quit it. I don't think I'm gonna drink that stuff again. Let's be honest, I think she. Who are you, Simon? Sorry it's taking me so long to get over here. What, were you busy? Yeah, I got a really good job. This is Russ. I... If, if you need anything... at all... Money, money's not an issue. Sorry.
Try that. I see a lot of myself in you, Simon. What do you mean? Facing the future and not knowing what it has in store for you. When I was your age, I knew a fellow named Tom. Terrific guy. He could do anything with a computer. He could rig anything, break into networks, shut anything down with a click of a button. He was my best friend. We started Vopo together. Back then, it was actually an interactive media company. Everything we made was for personal distraction. But the company was struggling. Vopo was facing certain bankruptcy and complete failure. What did you do? We went to a city in the desert, far away from here. <laughs> it was a terrible place for a city. I bet there's nothing there now. But it was a place you could make a lot of money, if you were lucky. We took the last of Vopo's venture capital, and we placed a bet. We won more money than you could imagine, and saved the company. That was the best time of my life. What happened to Tom? much take care of yourself sis. thanks Max
there. No. <laughs> no. No way. Yeah. Never no seen way him like that before. Yeah. <laughs> Were you there? No. You want a cocktail? Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. Cody yeah. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Who is that? That's Laura Gates. She used to work here. She used to have your job. That's Tom. The problem with Tom was, he was like Eric or your friend Max. We're builders, Simon. Those guys only destroy. Simon, what do you think is out there? I don't know. That's right. You don't have any idea about the world around you. This continent is massive. What do you think's out there? Take a guess. Other people. Other, other cities. There are no other cities. If there were a better city, I would be there. What do you think would happen if someone from Sector 6 made contact with whoever's out there? If your friend Max got through the firewall and told those people that we had electricity, grocery stores, running cars, they would come and take it away. They would take everything and leave us dead in the dust. I know what happened with you and Eric. That's why I hired you. 
We all have to make hard choices to survive. You of all people should know that. Everything all right in there, Simon? Attention, this is a special City 6 alert. Due to worsening conditions, the outside threat level has been elevated to imminent. All outer zone citizens will be required to relocate immediately. Temporary residences will be provided in the southern block of City 6. Have a good night. You're getting pretty good at that. I'm in. Confirm status. I do not have a visual. Repeat, I do not have a visual. System compromised. Attention, system compromised. Target's whereabouts are unknown.
Drive! What's that sound? It's a countdown. For what? He doing all right? Yeah, he's fine. He just he forgot to put iodine in his water. So. What do you think you're doing? What do you mean? Precautionary mandate three seven eight has been ordered. We are evacuating the outer zone of sector six. I'm going to have to ask you to turn around and get back in line. No. What did you say? I said no. Stay right here. Just be cool. Hey, Max. What do you think is out there?
are you doing? Just taking a piss. You feeling better? I feel amazing. I wanted that for you. I wanted you to get out. I was with Eric the first time he got arrested. I ratted him out. I know. He told me. It doesn't matter, Simon. 
I'm not. I wish I was, but I'm not. I'm not going back. Nobody's asking you to. So what happens? You go back? You work for Vopo? That's it? Did my best to help you, Max. Next time I can't make any promises.